morning, and I hope each of you is having a blessed Sunday morning. It's a wonderful day, and I always like to have a little message before the, we get into the sermon. This is going to be brief. It's just going to be a few moments. But this Sunday morning, I want to start with a scripture in Psalm 97. So if you can you either take out your phone or open your Bible quickly to Psalm 97. I want us to have a scripture to start with. I always like a praise scripture to be read in Psalm 97. The Lord is king. Let the earth rejoice. Let the many coastlands be glad. Clouds and thick darkness are all around him. Righteousness and justice are the foundation of his throne. Fire goes before him and consumes his adversaries on every side. His lightnings light up the world, the earth sees and trembles. The mountains melt like wax before the Lord, before the Lord of all the earth. The heavens proclaim his righteousness, and all the peoples behold his glory. All worshipers of images are put to shame, and those who make their boast in worthless idols. All gods bow down before him. Zion hears and is glad, and the towns of Judah rejoice because of your judgments, O God. For you, O Lord, are most high over all the earth. You are exalted far above all gods. The Lord loves those who hate evil. He guards the lives of his faithful. He rescues them from the hand of the wicked. Light dawns for the righteous and joy for the upright in heart. Rejoice in the Lord, O you righteous, and give thanks to his holy name. Amen. I want us to keep the Reed family in prayer. Reverend Reed lost his father yesterday, and we want to keep them undergirded in prayer. We want to pray for the whole Reed family and keep praying for them. During this time of mourning, it's very difficult to lose your father. And say something positive. You can send the scripture. You can just send thoughts, send a card. When someone loses someone, just let them know you're thinking of them. The important thing is that they know you care and that they're in your prayers. That's the number one thing you need is support during times of loss. And so we want to pray for the whole family. Reed, Alicia Copeland, and Anthony Reed, and there's Andrew Reed, the son. We want to just keep the whole family undergirded in prayer, the, ch the grandchildren, everybody attached to the family as he goes through this time of mourning. And his brother, who he went to the church for a long time, Deacon Reed. Also, keep Deacon Little in prayer. Deacon Little and Sister Little. They have the best spirits and the best hearts. And just keep them undergirded in prayer. Continue pray for Deacon Little and for Sister Little. Continue pray for them. And Sister Monroe, God keep bringing her to mind. Pray for Sister Monroe. Continue pray for her. And brother Let. All those on the sick and chatting list. Sister Sidbury, faithful trustee for numerous years. Very faithful. Sister Elliot, faithfully attended. We're going to continue praying for him. Sister Burchett, down in Virginia. Continue pray for her in Virginia Beach. Just continue pray. I'm, I, I can't call every name. I'm not going to try. But just continue to pray for all those on the sick and chatting list. Everybody who's going through ailments, we continue to pray. And for this week, keep in mind, there's a nutrition meeting happening on Monday at 7.15 p.m. Monday at 7.15 p.m. It's a nutrition meeting where we're going to learn healthy recipes and the best ways in terms of maintaining our bodies. We have a nutritionist coming in who's going to do that on Zoom. So we're going to learn a lot about nutrition Monday at 7.15 p.m. And it's posted on Facebook and it's going to be emailed out. And you should receive the one call. So you can join via clicking the link in the email or on Facebook, or you call the phone number that came out on the one call message. So you can join however you want to. Okay, you can come on Zoom. And if you use Zoom, you don't have to use video. You can use the audio part of Zoom and not use a camera. Or you can also use your telephone, and, but you can connect that way. So keep that in mind. Also, the Women's Book Club is this week on this Tuesday. So 
be sure to join the Women's Book Club, all women, and for our Men's Book Club. Every man is invited to join our Men's Book Club. We're looking for all the men to attend our Men's Book Club. But the Women's Book Club is this week, and we want all the women to attend the Women's Book Club as they continue on this Tuesday at 7.15 p.m. Also keep in mind, the Haiti contributions, well, we have about 10 days left, contribute to Haiti. I know Deacon Johnson has contributed to Haiti. And let me know if you contribute into Haiti. I always like to know, I always like to know we contribute and make some contribution towards the effort in Haiti. And I'm having posted on Facebook where you're going to see the children who have been helped and the lives that have been changed. So give something towards the Haiti effort. Also remember, we're doing our all-night prayer. We only got two weekends left. And then all-night prayer, not this weekend coming up, but the following weekend, October 2nd, Friday at 8 p.m., we're going to have our all-night prayer. I'm very excited about that. I know you're excited about that. And that brings joy to my face. It makes me smile to think about we're going to have all-night prayer again. Friday, October 2nd to Saturday, October the 3rd. We're going to have our next all-night prayer. And we also planning some things for the men's ministry and the women's ministry. We're going to have some online activities. They in the works right now. Even though we're not able to physically meet, we can still meet virtually. And so it's the next best thing. And I just want to let you know, I hope you have a wonderful Sunday. And be blessed this Sunday. Lord, I ask right now you to cover each and every person, anoint every ear as this message is about to play, and I pray for the movement of your Holy Spirit right now. May you speak right now, and you meet the needs of each person, no matter what the need is, whether it's emotional, mental, spiritual, physical, financial, whatever the need is, meet the needs right now, and may you, Father God, be seen in your great glory. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Have a blessed Sunday morning. Amen.
Amen. I'll be reading Joel 2, 18 through 32. Then the Lord became jealous for his land and had pity on his people. In response to his people, the Lord said, I am sending you grain, wine, and oil, and you will be satisfied, and I will no more make you a mockery among the nations. I will remove the northern army far from you and drive it into a parched and desolate land, its front into the eastern sea, and its rear into the western sea. Its stretch and foul smell, its stench and foul smell will rise up. Surely he has done great things. Do not fear, O soil, be glad and rejoice, for the Lord has done great things. Do not fear, you animals of the field, for the pastures of the wilderness are green. The trees bears its fruit, and the, the fig tree and vine give their full yield. O children of Zion, be glad and rejoice in the Lord your God, for he has given the early rain for your vindication. He has poured down for your abundant rain, the early and the later rain as before. The refreshing floors shall be full of grain. The vats shall overflow with wine and oil. I will repay you for the years that the swarming locust has eaten, the hopper, the destroyer, and the cutter, my great army which I sent against you. You shall eat in plenty and be satisfied and praise the name of the Lord your God who has dealt wondrously with you. And with and my people shall never again be put to shame. You shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, and that I, the Lord, am your God, and there is no other. And my people shall never again be put to shame. Then afterward, I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams, and your young men shall see visions. Even on the male and female slaves in those days, I will pour out my spirit. I will show port. I will show port in, portions in the heavens and on the earth, blood and fire and in columns of smoke. The sun shall be turned to darkness and the moon to blood. Before the great and terrible day of the Lord comes, then everyone who calls out on the name of the Lord shall be saved. For in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem there shall be those who escape. As the Lord has said, and among the survivors shall be those whom the 